Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and as you can see today we are going to speak uh, about one of the best uh, marksman legendary heroes, uh, one of the most popular uh, for the tier 5 players and even for tier 4 uh, which is Sindrion. I understand uh, as a free to play player like me and many other, uh, for many others it will be hard to unlock the Sindrion. Well, I got super lucky. I got Syndrium from the season reset. Uh, whenever there is a wheel, you can get four heroes. Some of the heroes are like expensive ones. For example, there was like Theodore, there was like Syndrion, and from one pool I got Syndrion. I got really, really happy, uh, which is simply because like free to play players can't get Syndrion, even if like, especially if you are playing with in a big kingdoms where a lot of tier 5 players you can't win uh, strongest lord to get syndrome tokens right uh, so i got pretty lucky i hope you guys got lucky too and some of you got syndrion so um, i tested syndrion i played with him and i can see why he's so good right in order for us to understand more deeply why syndrion is so popular we need to understand his skills right uh, the most unique thing about Syndrion is that um, he does not have a damage factor on his main skill. Uh, like Syndrion Legion gains skin and rapid fire, increasing their attack by 20% and launching an additional normal attack every second for 7 seconds, right? Uh, it basically means that you are a, like auto attacker, you are just standing there and like auto attacking the enemy with normal attacks. Uh, with the medium range so like it's pretty basic not, not a damage factor no not something like special you are just standing there like a true archer and throwing some arrows to the enemy the second skill is actually like a rally skill you are getting a 10 percent attack bonus and the defense penetration up to five percent not so important but of course if you are rallying with your marksman uh, syndrome is your best choice for sure the third skill, all marksman units in the Syndrion's Legion gain 10% uh, normal attack crit rate and 15% HP. Yeah, you are standing still, you need some tankiness, so it, it pretty much uh, makes sense, right? Uh, the fourth skill, when battle begins, Syndrion Legion gains rapid fire for one second, launching an extra attack every time they launch a normal attack. Which means like you are throwing more and more arrows simply by standing still and uh, dealing damage to enemy. Also, by doing that, you are getting 20% attack bonus and the like uh, passive skills duration is rising up to 3 level uh, in the end, right? Of course, it will be super hard for me and for any free to play player, whoever got lucky like me to get Syndrion, to awaken him, right? But we still need to speak a bit about awakening skill because finally we see some damage factor on here, right? Every time Syndrion's Legion lands uh, 5 critical hits from normal attacks, again, Synergy with normal attack, they deal additional damage to the target Legion and the additional damage is 400 damage factor. If we're gonna consider that uh, Syndrion is throwing a lot of normal attacks to enemy, this means a lot of sense and it's like great, great additional 400 damage out of just doing what you need to do on the battlefield, right? So, uh, Syndrion is unique because other marksman heroes are mainly like damage factor heroes and Syndrion finally is a new type of marksman which is just standing still and dealing a lot of uh, normal attack damage, right? Also, regarding like talent trees, marksman rally and precision. Rally is a unique talent tree for marksman uh, legendary hero or in general uh, marksman hero, but precision I think is the best marksman talent um, talent tree uh, which we have currently in the game, uh, and that's the main choice in my opinion. You are going. Uh, precision until the end and the last talent you are getting the increases the attack of your legion by 0.5 percent every 10 seconds up to a maximum of three percent great talent and what i like the most uh, is like these talents uh, when casting great skill your legion gains focus increasing their normal attack crit rate by one percent like Syndrion's legion is all about crit rate so like from talents you are getting a lot of crit rate too also, like one uh, kind of secret I need to tell you about the precision talent. 
Now, whenever you're gonna unlock the Mark of the War, you're gonna continue with Marksman, uh, and you're gonna uh, put the points on Marksman attack, then you're gonna put points on Fully Loaded, uh, like 5 points here, 5 points here, and Steady Shot 5 points here. I would not continue none of them, because I love this talent. 25% chance to inflict fragility on the target legion when casting uh, rage skill, increasing normal attack damage taken by 2% for 5 seconds. Great talent, you can uh, add 2 points to this and uh, I think uh, like in general this precision talent will be amazing for anybody in any situation. If you are a tier 5 player and if you are in general um, rallying the enemies, you can go fully on the rally tree. Uh, other than that, I would not recommend to go on a marksman tree because precision is just too good. Uh, if I'm gonna compare precision to any other talent trees, it's like skill tree for the mages, right? Uh, that's why I highly recommend to go uh, on the precision tree. Now it's time for us to speak um, regarding hero pairs. Uh, for the Sindrion, which is like a pretty interesting hero, more like a normal attack hero, one of the most important and most popular uh, hero pairs for the Sindrion is Fragar. Uh, it's pretty obvious, kinda, because both of the heroes came out together, right? And like I, I will explain why uh, Fragar is the most important uh, hero pair for the Sindrion. Simply because, as I said, any other marksman uh, heroes has a uh, skill damage factors on their main skills. And one of the most similar heroes for Sindrion to have like more of a normal attack style of gameplay uh, is... Uh, uh, for Igor, well, she, uh, she or he still has a damage factor, but pretty low, 600, if we're gonna compare any other legendary heroes, 600 damage factor is not a lot, uh, and the like, uh, deals damage to the target and grants Fragar Legion normal attack focus, and already we gonna, we are seeing this synergy uh, with a Syndrome, normal attack is important for Syndrome and Fragar is already given the uh, normal attack focus, which means normal attack crit rate plus 60%, which is a lot. And also for the 7 seconds is a too much, right? Already big synergy with a Syndrome, uh, the second attack, uh, like you are getting normal attack bonus again up to 15% and defense, right? Uh, third skill uh, is giving us physical attack bonus and again a synergy with Syndrion, normal, normal attack crit rate damage up to 30%, 30% is a lot. And also, like, you are getting additional march speed and, like, pretty rare skill for the marksman heroes in general. Uh, rage skill accumulation speed. Uh, you mainly see uh, that kind of talent on uh, cavalry heroes, uh, especially on Emery and Bakshi. But yeah, rage accumulation, accumulation speed reduction, 20%. A uh, good thing to have, I guess, for the marksman. The awakening skill of the uh, Fragar is like deals damage to the target and grants Fragar Legion normal attack. Well, the first skill, but additional 200 damage factor. Well, uh, first skill is already synergy because of crit rate. Uh, here, you're gonna get normal attack crit rate again. Uh, and also, here, you're getting normal attack bonus up to 15%. So, I think. Uh, one and only hero pair for Sindrion currently in the game is uh, uh, Fragar. I would not uh, play with Sindrion um, and Fre Kinara. Kinara is different kind of marksman. I would not play with Nico. Uh, like it's a new style, uh, season two style uh, marksman unit. Especially in season TI, whenever we are going to have uh, like more range as a marksman hero, Syndrion will be more and more popular. You're gonna stand uh, out of range of everybody and throw these normal attacks with crits. So, yeah, if you got lucky like me, I highly recommend to invest in Syndrion. It's a great hero, but at first, you need, if you are a marksman player, that's the most important when you should go for Syndrion. You need to have, like, for, for me, for example, like me, uh, I have Kinara and uh, Nico, my main uh, legion. I'm marksman player, and now I have uh, Syndrion and Fragar. I have, like, both styles. So, like, I, I won't gonna talk too much about uh, hero pairs because uh, Syndrion has only one, which is Fragar, and we already spoke about Fragar. Uh, now it's time for us to speak regarding artifacts, uh, and I'm always speaking about artifacts which are currently available in the game, but there is like a couple of special occasions 
uh, Cendrion has like artifact for himself, uh, made only for himself, which is like gold crest. I think it's this one. I I didn't don't have it, that's why I can't show it. Uh, for a free to play player, it's really really hard to get the gold crest, but now that's the main artifact for the Cindurion in general. Uh, other than that, the artifacts we can get uh, currently from Altar is like a couple of them which we can use on Cindurion, and one is like kind of secret one which can be good, especially in Season TI. First of all, as always, Shadow Blades, but like it's more suited for Ginara and uh, Nikos Legion because it's more like a damage factor um, artifact. But if you uh, if you don't if we don't have anything uh, other than Shadow Blades, we can use Shadow Blades on uh, Syndrion Legion. Now, other than that, I think the secret um, artifact which I already said is here is Heart of Kamasi, like it's more defensive artifact, marksman unit defense and legion defense and also the skill which you are getting, like you grants your legion and two nearby friend legions, physical kin, which is great for Syndrion and again normal attack damage dealt up to 15%, which duration is 10 seconds. Uh, I, I would recommend the Heart of Kamasi on Syndrion if you are a marksman player and if you have at least two uh, good marksman legions such as Kinara, like Nico and Kinara and the Cindrion and Fregar. This will be even better into the next season whenever we are getting talents for the battlefield. Um, like whenever we are getting the more um, range for our marksman units, this will be more and more popular in my opinion. So uh, this is the kind of like one secret artifact which can be good on Cindrion in the future especially. Uh, other than that, um, Heart Piercer uh, deals damage to the selected Legion and uh, what's good about this is like target has a 65% chance to gain physical defense break. I think it's more suited for Nico and Kinara because they are more of like physical defense uh, and defense break uh, hero pair but still if you don't have any other legendary uh, artifacts on your Syndrion for your Syndrion you can always use a Heart Piercer also. Uh, like in general, I know it's pretty hard to unlock uh, Syndrion, I got lucky, uh, and if you got lucky yourself, any other ways to uh, invest in Syndrion is like me, to collect as much um, Season 2 tokens, uh, as you can see I invested all of my Season 2 tokens to for the Syndrion, uh, simply to just unlock the first five levels and other levels you can just stay it here and you can invest in like later stages if you will if you wish to upgrade the levels 5111 is a pretty good uh, levels for the skills simply because this skill is the passive skill only for the rallies and it's pretty risky for a free-to-play player to uh, invest in Syndrion. Uh, if you unlocked uh, somehow and if you are investing in this game, you can always choose Syndrion here uh, and you are going to get one token per day uh, for the Syndrion. This is like the only ways we can currently get him uh, in the game. Uh, also regarding like war pets, um, I have already done war pet guides one by one uh, and I'm also upgrading them simply because old guides are already old. Uh, one of the main war pets for the Syndrion is uh, it's already popular one, Night Rock. Uh, and we're gonna read the main skill of the Night Rock and it will be pretty simple why it's uh, for the Syndrion. A Legion normal attack crit rate also amazing, normal attack also have 30% chance to deal additional uh, upon landing crit rate hit. So like pretty simple synergies, no, crit rate is important for Syndrion, normal attacks is important for Syndrion and I think in general this Ravage skill, forceful Ravage skill uh, and like, uh, like in general Ravage uh, synergy is amazing for the Syndrion. If you are looking, if you are a marksman player like me, uh, and if you are planning to play only marksman, like at least like two to three marksman legions uh, in the next season, I would highly recommend to invest at least five one 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 uh, skill set on Syndrion. Uh, other than that, I know it's pretty hard to get this hero as a free to play player, like I am also the one if you did not get lucky. But I hope uh, in the future developers will give us chances to get. 
uh, the heroes which we could not get because I also have a couple of heroes which I don't have. Of course, I don't have Lilia. I do. I want to get the Theodore, and uh, like I even more want to get Goresh because Goresh is amazing hero. I know Hosk and uh, Lilia will be only for pay to win players or some players who um, at least paid it like some amount of money in the game. But yeah, I would love to have Goresh in the future. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak. Um, I got really, really excited whenever I unlocked this Syndrion, uh, and I got excited whenever I got uh, him 5111. So, like, that's the main reason why I wanted to give you this guide, guys. Uh, I hope you are li liking the content. I hope you are li watching the watch some streams because on these streams we are having a lot of war content uh, almost every single day. Uh, simply because I got lucky and I got into the kingdom where well, there is a lot of tier 5 players and there is wars almost every single day. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, uh, if you like the video, if you like the content, um, press the like button, press the subscribe. Uh, it will bring smile on, on my face. Uh, so far, this is all I wanted to say about uh, this interesting and great looking hero, Syndrion. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing what I have been done for the last 7 to 8 months uh, because I'm seeing that you, you guys are liking it. Thanks for watching, bye bye, see you very soon guys.